be the best, you have to play against the best. So uh, I think that's, that's, that encapsulates the idea. You're playing against the best players around the world. Uh, some of my experiences are playing against NBA players, guys that have gone like the top, top three picks in the draft. And playing against some of these great young players, it just makes you step your game up. And then when you come back to school, you're a little bit more seasoned and you're ready to go. It was pretty surreal, to be honest. Uh, it was always my dream to play for Team Canada. And the summer before, I, we made it we were the qualifiers and we qualified for world championships. So that was huge. And actually being in Greece this summer and just kind of just witnessing the whole commotion and all the excitement around the whole sport and all like, the teams from around the world really being there. It was just a really neat experience just to be part of it, really. It's not every day that a player gets a chance to play against national teams all around the world. The competition is intense. And just playing against this competition day in and day out really made me realize I need to keep getting better every day and it's a huge reality check and also just, it, was, it was fun. I mean, getting to know all these players, you know, meet new people, it was a fun experience for being able to play and compete against these players from all around the world. I remember my first time at a world championship. My coach put me in and I was, I was struggling just to run. I was tripping over my feet. I was so nervous. But uh, this time around, you know, uh, I was in more of a leadership role. I was actually captain of the team. So I, had to, I was the veteran. Uh, a lot of the guys were doing their first time around. So I had to kind of step up and uh, be a little bit more of a leader. Leadership is a big thing for me. Coaches talk to me about that as well. They want me to be the vocal leader that I know I can be. They see me on past teams be a leader, like a captain. Uh, I come up through the years and hopefully gain that trust to take that role on when I get older and older. Energy. Energy is a big thing. And being able to contribute in any way, shape, or form, you know, not worried about scoring it or any of that. It's more rebounding, toughness, and being able, you know, be, being able to get along with all the players and just contribute to the team on and off the court as much as possible. We played on the same provincial team together in 2011, and uh, that was kind of like the first time I ever played with him and got to know him. And we became friends then, and just kind of like watching him go through his whole process with the like national team before me, and uh, kind of just like observing what he did and learning by his tendencies and his leadership skills. So I kind of just picked up on what he did, and then eventually got to play with him the past two years. So it's been, it's been a good journey for both of us. Corey and I have been playing with each other since we were 14, and uh, you know we have we've been working on our games together and just developing together, and we, we've got a great chemistry together. I feel on the court, so hopefully it shows on the court this year for Harvard.